Hello, Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Luma Moon Tarot. So, Cancer, I got to say, I want to check into the weekend energy. I went into my diary deck, and the cards just came flying out, man. And this is all your energy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover your energy, and then I'm going to see what's going on behind the scenes with your person. Anyway, Cancer, this reading is for the collective, so it may not resonate with all of you. Look at this person's getting ready to come forward, Cancer. They're getting ready. Somebody wants to propose to somebody, uh, whoever this resonates with, right? Um, anyway, Cancer, just take what resonates, leave the rest, right? Um, don't try to force it. And thank you so much, my darlings. I love you. Um, thank you for all of your support, your likes, the subscribes, you guys. Thank you, thank you. Um, and everybody new here, hi, I'm Becca. Um, all right, so the diary deck, if you're not familiar with the diary deck, this is memories from my own life that hold a lot of meaning, okay? Um, but yeah, the great cutoff was the first card out and uh, Bruce Wow in reverse, okay? So like... I feel like you're cutting off your masculine, okay? This is somebody that you used to just absolutely adore. Now, listen to, I'm choosing my words fairly carefully, right? You used to. This is somebody who has majorly disappointed you, and um, you once maybe thought of this person as perfect for you, Cancer. You may have thought of them as, you know, this is it. This is the one I want, you know, I want them forever. This person was close to you. They were in your, of course, in your inner circle. They could have been um, part of a, a big friend group, something like that. This is somebody that has been with you for a long, long time um, or been in your life or somebody you've known for years or something like that. Okay. Very close to this person. You were very close to them. And I feel like they, you just don't feel the same way anymore. You don't. Not with Bruce Wow in reverse. This is somebody that you, uh, you were just like so in love with this person, Cancer. And I feel like you still have love for them, but you certainly don't feel the same. That flame has burned out, okay? Um, and you're cutting this energy out of your life. Uh, I feel like it was this person was such a big disappointment, and this has gone on for so long um, that I feel like you're just wanting out of this energy now. Okay, you're seeing them in a different light. I feel like it's because of the way they treated you, um, all the things they did. Probably a lot of it is the things that they didn't do, Cancer. I think that's most of it. You know, I feel like this person really, really disappointed you. Okay, and it's their character, I feel, that's disappointing you the most. The song that I'm hearing in my head right now, guys, I don't know the name of it, and I don't know who does it, but it's, um, it's a song from the movie The Craft, um, and it's, You are sickened by the weakness of a heart that's filled with fear, and if the world won't understand you, you can make it disappear. So um, I feel like... Uh, you're sick, you're just kind of disgusted at this person's show of um, cowardly, they're, they're just cowardly. And I feel like that's disgusting you. It's that you see their fear as a weakness, Cancer. Um, you know, I feel like you know that this was a good connection, okay? That's the feeling that I'm getting. And I feel like it really was a good connection. And I feel like your person... I got to say, they're just, they're, they're a fool for losing you. They are. I feel like you're everything here, Cancer. And look at sudden wealth. I feel like you're very abundant on top of it too. Because of all that you've been through, Cancer, because of all that you've persevered through, all the lessons you learned, all the effort that you've put into your healing and everything else, I feel like you're about to be blessed. Sudden wealth, my darling. Okay, and I'm talking like this is a lot of money. Like say uh, you were making, you know, maybe 30 grand a year or something before or less maybe even for some of you. I mean, you're about to be bumped up into a really high tax bracket here. This is, this is generational wealth. All right, so you, I, and it's because of all that you've been through. Some of you have been through so much trauma um, it's, it's really, 
it's really taken its toll. I feel like you guys have healed from all of this, though. And that's why the divine is about to bless you big time. Um, and I feel like as you cut this person off and you realize, you know, this is you kind of um, seeing everything clearly, okay? Receiving messages from the divine. Um, actually, I'm going to leave it up here. I feel like as you are spiritually led here, okay, you're getting ready to put those old memories in a box. You're going to box them away. You know, this person will always have a place in your heart, but that passion has burnt out. One, I think they've done too much harm to you. Two, I think they haven't done enough to make it right. And three, I think it's been too long. They left you alone to heal for far too long, okay? Um, yeah, but you're about to make bank cancer. Um, and it really, truly is, um, this is a gift for you for everything that you've been through and how much effort you put into yourself and your healing, okay? So expect your money to just, I mean, sudden wealth, you could like win a lottery ticket, um, you know, win a lottery. I mean, you could like, um, it, this could be, un you know, unfortunately, an inheritance or something like that, okay? Um, this could be a big job promotion or if you have a business, um, it's going to start, it's just going to take off. It is, it's just going to take off. But yeah, because this person really, you know, they, they showed so much fear and they showed um, they just been too much of a coward to step forward and do the right thing and face you and give you all they have to do really was give you an apology. That's all they had to do. Um, and that doesn't cost anything. It doesn't take very much time out of their schedule, but they couldn't even do that. I feel like this person disappointed you in every way. I really, really, that's kind of what it feels like to me. And you just don't feel the same anymore. Right now, this person, you know, look, nobody looks happy in this picture. Um, I feel like they're still in a family situation. Um, could be with a bunch of backwards thinkers. That's this card, right? Um, none of them are happy. I feel like this person is a provider. Look at the look on their face. They just want to get out. They want to get out of that situation. Yeah, I feel like it's starting to drive them a little bit crazy, okay? I feel like that's your person's energy. It's starting to drive them buggy. They don't want to be there anymore. I feel like they're having some anxiety. Yeah, it's it's just a wreck. It's a wreckage. It's wreckage. I feel like, too, um, whoever they're with could actually be hiding the fact that they may have somebody else on the side okay yeah whoever they're with could possibly have someone else on the side um these people are both looking at you watching you succeed okay i feel like whoever this person is with is jealous they may even be i'm getting the sense that there's a big um difference in religious beliefs here okay um i feel like Whoever they're with could be like religious, right? And I feel like you're spiritual. And I feel like when this karmic watches you, they're just very critical of you. Extremely critical. They may even make snide remarks, cut you down, that kind of thing. But I feel like as, you're, as this masculine watches you, Cancer, they're starting to absorb the messages and they're starting to awaken. All right, because they really are, they're going buddy, they're going buggy. I don't know why I said buddy, but they're going buggy. Yeah, look, this masculine is putting in the work. They're starting to do their spirit. This is spiritual work. This is shadow work. This is work on themselves, healing, right? Um, opening their eyes to what's going on. Their, uh, their vibrations are raising. And meanwhile, it's leading this karmic to drink. Um, the, the karmic is drinking so much and I feel like they're not really taking good care of themselves. They're not taking good care of their family. This is somebody who's got kids, whether they're this per your person's children or not. Okay. Um, and yeah, the karmic is absolutely enraged. See, then they go home and drink. They rage and drink. Rage and drink. That's what they do. 
And meanwhile, I feel like this masculine may even be the only one who's really taking care of things around the house with the children because this karmic looks like they just they just drink. They try to come with, up with ideas to either maybe um, end the situation uh, or end your abundance or uh, they're constantly watching you. They could be doing some spell work here and whatever they're trying to do um, to hang on to your person, it's not working. And they're becoming very enraged, very volatile. This karmic, um, I feel like they keep it well hidden, but I get the sense that they may have had some um, mental issues in the past. And the more stressed out they get over the situation, the worse those mental problems get. Because, yeah, you're out here winning. You're divinely led. This is the divine. Yes, corn stands for the divine. Okay. It just does, Cancer. Don't question it. It just does. All right. Yeah, you're divinely led. I feel like you're ending a cycle. You're stepping into an abundant new life, um, especially with the sudden wealth and the world card here. Yes. And I've been calling it out. We've all, all of the readers have been saying it in the readings. You know, you are entering into a new cycle, Cancer, that's going to be abundant. Okay filled with opportunities. You could be in the definitely in the public eye if they're watching you on the internet. Uh, um, but yeah, this is also in the public eye. I feel like you're reaching the masses. So I feel like you, you could even have a podium or a platform out here, Cancer. You could be it, being divinely led here. I feel like you could be a light worker, very intuitive, doing something spiritual. I feel a difference in religious beliefs here between this family of backwards thinkers, you know, and um, and your spirituality. And it looks like you're, you're actually um, having a victory out here. And it's making this karmic angrier and angry. It, this is going crazy, too. Um, a lot of rage issues, okay? They could have possibly tried to get pregnant recently. Um, I think they're having issues with that. I feel like they're have they're starting to have a hard time with anything going right in their life. I, I'm getting the sense that like the more they rage on you and focus on you, I feel like the more you win. <laughs> you know, whatever bad energy they're sending to you, Cancer, it's not it's having it's having a backwards effect. It's making you abundant and it's making them crazy. Okay, the, the energy that they're sending you is making you abundant, sudden wealth, wealth we're talking, and it's making them crazy or crazier, okay? Um, what else is going on? Meanwhile, your person, I, they're pretty silent in this so far. I feel like they're, they're kind of, it feels like they're, they're trying to sort of energetically break away from this karmic. That's why they're quiet. I'm feeling hermit energy here with this card. But this is a lot of inner work, okay? So, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, you could be dealing with a Virgo. Um, they, they could be dealing with, this karma could be a, um, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Maybe um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah. Something about the karmic feeling like a clown. You know, it's weird because I feel like this is somebody who um, they kind of like pick at your work or whatever it is that you're doing because you're spiritual. But yet on the down low, they're they're wanting to be like you. OK. Yeah, that's the feeling that I'm getting. And the more they try, the more of a clown they look. Your masculine's getting angry because they're dealing with this. This person's embarrassing. This is like public embarrassment as well. Okay. So, um, and I feel like it's because of the rage issue. So they could have like um, anger management. They could have like big, huge blow ups in like public just to embarrass this person. I feel like it's also they just can't control themselves anymore their mental issues are getting pretty intense, okay? 
And meanwhile, everything seems to be kind of falling apart in their life. The drinking, the family that they're not really taking good care of. Okay, I feel like the masculine just feels they're, they're embarrassed. They feel like they want to hide from this person. They get angry. Um, it's just, they. I feel like they can't. I'm here and I can't take them anywhere. Yeah, I feel like they can't take them anywhere. Okay? <laughs> That's what I just heard, honestly. So, yeah, this person is an embarrassment. Um whether they're raging or whether they're acting overly happy like it's an act okay it's an act for the community but then they'll like um they'll just freak out over something okay so yeah this i feel like this masculine is just at the end of their rope here um they know what they're missing out on when it comes to you cancer um, yeah, and you're out here happy. Look at your smile. You're beaming, Cancer. It's like, yay, I made it through this difficult cycle. You know, I'm seeing everything clearly. I've healed, right? I'm getting blessed with a lot of money. I mean, this is really awesome. And it's I feel like it's because you're releasing. You're releasing. You're not waiting around for this person anymore. I feel like... Um, um, their fear and being afraid possibly of this karmic or, or coming towards you, I feel like it's a major turn off. Uh, it just fizzles out that flame. You know, the fire's gone. The, I feel like your passion is gone, um, from this situation and you're moving forward. You're, like I said, you're boxing up the old memories, cancer, and you're moving into your new future that's going to be filled with sudden wealth. I mean, come on. No wonder you're smiling. You're like, yay. Yeah, all your person can think about is your soulmate connection. There, This is dreamy, right? I wish. I wish I would have chosen the collective, right? They're daydreaming about you, kicking themselves, feeling like a fool. Because they're with this uh, angry, enraged karmic who's acting like a clown, okay? Trying to telepathically communicate with you, wanting to leave this karmic situation behind. They're trying, look, these are spirit guides too. Your person has a couple spirit guides around them that are trying to lead them out of that situation. But, it, you know, I feel like they need to take some kind of action here. And all they're doing is trying to telepathically communicate with you. And it's not working. It's not working, Cancer. You're no longer listening. You're cutting everything off. I feel like you're building up a brick wall um, when it comes to their psychic communication, right? You may feel it, but then you kind of block it out. Yeah. This person, it's like their spirit guides are really, I feel like their spirit guides are saying it's now or never. We need to lead you out of this karmic situation. It is now or never. You're miserable. You know you don't belong in this situation, right? Every time you try to leave, the karmic grabs a hold of your ankle and drags you back in. This thing is looking like a, a car wreck, okay? Um, I don't think that anybody's gotten into a car wreck. However, it could, this karmic could have with drinking and driving. I will say that. But that's just a side note. Yeah, the, their spiritual team is trying to guide them and lead them out. And I feel like I saw the baby with the money, right? I'm getting the sense that your, your person feels so obligated because there are children involved. And I feel like they are a provider here, Cancer. But, man, they do not belong in that karmic situation anymore. Um, the divine knows it. Their spiritual guides know it. This person knows it. I feel like the karmic knows it as well. I feel like um, there's a lot of gossip about you. And your person has to sit there and listen to that as well. The, this Whoever this karmic is, she's got like two other friends that get together and they have like a ladies night to talk about you cancer that's really what I'm getting here and your person just has to deal with it 
there that's all that there is it's just a lot of focus on you jealousy of you talking about you watching you picking your work apart you know yeah your person wants out they're getting themselves cleaned up cancer cleaned up and ready to go all right what can you show me yeah it's miserable wherever they are i feel like your person hates it there Ooh, it's more and here you are all kinds of zen okay this is too many cards though divine the, um, for some of you, this karmic could even be pregnant again, but it may not be this person's baby. I did see the um, having an affair card in this. This one wanted to roll off my fingers here. What is this one all about? This is somebody um, making like an evil plan. Okay. Um, what is this about? Yeah, spell work. That's it. I feel like this karmic has been doing spell work. And uh, so, yeah, that's why they're having mental health issues right now. That's why they're enraged right now. That's why they're acting goofy in public and freaking out and acting like a clown right now. It's because all that energy that they sent you, any kind of spell work, when it got to you, Cancer, I feel like it made it's making you wealthy. It's um, it's affecting your abundance in a positive way. Okay, they're kind of they're upset. They're upset about that. But this this spell work and magic is coming right back on them now, and it's affecting their mind. They could even be um, having some eyesight issues. They could be having a lot of headaches. Headaches and eyesight, I feel. Yeah, I just saw that affair card again. So I feel like this person, this karmic is also, they've, they've had other affairs behind your person's back. And I feel like here you are out here. Look, every time they send you a spell, Cancer, okay, if they're sending you some kind of bad energy to try to stop your abundance, it's making your abundance bigger. Like, it's blessing you, okay? Um, any If they sent bad juju to try to make you feel lonely and heartbroken, you've got now um, options coming out of the woodwork. You've got a lot of people around you that may want to date you. You're attracting the attention of more and more and more people every day. It's driving this person crazy. Crazy. The more they send out to you, the more you succeed. Look at it. And if they try to affect your job and what you do on the Internet, you're, you've never done better. You're actually getting better at what you do. You're becoming even more of a master than you were before. I'm telling you, it's driving them crazy every time. It, the, the energy gets to you. It makes you stronger and more abundant and more attractive and it comes back on them and affects their health, their mind, their craziness, their sanity. And here you are out here living your best life. If they tried to make you live in a impoverished situ situation, that's not working either. All of a sudden, here you're on vacation, meeting new people, having drinks with little flowers in it and umbrellas. You know what I mean, Cancer? If they're trying to send you bad energy to um, make you confused and um, second guess yourself and, and hurt your creativity, that's not working either. I feel like you have to take notes now on your ideas that you're getting. There's like a nice flow. Um, yeah, so now whatever they send you at this point is making you win more. And they are going insane. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, and they can't stop your person from wanting to come forward either. So it's really a lose-lose for them, a win-win for you. <laughs> and your person, you know, all they can do is daydream about you. They're getting ready. I feel like they're getting ready to come forward here. 
but they still haven't broken free from this family situation. Okay, not this one. Um, but yeah, they they can't stop thinking about you. All these two is all these two do is fight. Nothing but fighting. I feel like this is your energy, Cancer. You've got people lined up for you. I'm telling you. You're going to you're going to have options in love. You're going to have sudden wealth. Um, you're going to be traveling, taking vacations, living you living your best life, right? Living it up. I feel like you're going to um, be more productive and creative than you ever were before. I feel like you're going to be successful at work. And, um, you know, yeah, a lot of options when it comes to love. I already said that. And new ideas come just flowing to you easily. You're going to have to write them down, get some notepads, right? Look at on the world card. You're going to expand, possibly move to a new location. You are nothing but smiles. Um, yeah, whatever this karmic is sending you, Cancer, it's helping you win. And it's driving them insane. Okay. Yeah, who Cancer, that's what I've got. Um, I am going to take this over to the extended because I want to I wanna use my mixed emotions deck. Um, we're going to go through your person's emotions when it comes to you because they're honestly, they're not saying a whole lot. I'm really feeling that hermit energy. But the fact that they're so quiet and quietly getting prepared to come to you with an offer, um, I, I feel like it doesn't, right now, you don't feel the same way about this person, okay? You're cutting this energy off. Um, but they're still getting prepared to come to you. And I feel like they're in hermit energy because they're doing that shadow work, because you've inspired them, because they're absorbing the messages and the high vibes. And this person, they're becoming spiritual. And that part drives this karmic insane as well. Okay? So, yeah, I want to look into their emotions, though. They are being really quiet. <laughs> they are. They're very quiet in your reading. You notice that? The karmic is complaining a lot, but your person, I feel like they're kind of on shutdown mode right now. So, yeah, anyway, Cancer, if you're interested in seeing how your person is really feeling on the inside about you and the situation, there's a link to follow at the bottom of my description box that'll take you straight to Patreon, okay? Um, and yeah, I hope this helps, Cancer. I hope it resonates with you. Um, like and subscribe to the channel, right, guys, if you like this video and you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you, Cancer. I love you, and peace out.